Hello people. Today we are going to learn how to uh, create ads that are mobile friendly or any, any screen size friendly. And you can do this right in Google AdSense. Now you notice I'm on the Faith McCullough Foundation, my beautiful baby girl's uh, child safety website. And there's a big old ad across the top here. And then there's one right here. And then there's another one here, another one at the bottom. But notice whenever I shrink the page, let me see if I could do this. If I shrink the page down, now you notice my ads are getting cut off here. My, you know, my if I shrink it down even further, it's going to get cut off there. All right. So, but let me show you something. I'm going to refresh the page. All right. Refresh the page. Watch what happens to that. It automatically changes to whatever the screen size is. Okay. And then you'll see I got my ad across the top there too. And then here's another AdSense ad that just get. They, they, they read whatever the screen size is and serves the appropriate ad. So then that way you don't have a bunch of, uh, you know, ads overflowing into your content and stuff like that. Now I'm going to show you guys how to do this. Okay, it's a relatively simple. Google just implemented that. Whenever you go to here, whenever you're in your Google AdSense, now if you don't have an AdSense account and you want to learn how to make an AdSense account, I'll put that in the description of this video. But you can also go to my website and type in how to create a Google AdSense account. And there's a nice little video here that takes you through the entire process. Okay. So what you want to do is after you get your AdSense account, click add new ad unit. And whenever you do that, you can see now that Google says uh, has a, an option for automatic size responsive preview. Now I'm using one ad one ad for this space, this space, and this space down here because I got a little lazy. But you could put uh, something like add top or just do add header. And then maybe if you, you want to do sidebar, put one for the sidebar, you know. And then, but all you have to do is click save and get code, okay? You could, of course, style the ad, you know, you want to have a different look or whatever. Um, and then you can have create a custom channel with the ad or maybe put a backup ad in that or show blank space you know if no ads are available but usually there are ads available you'll never have to worry about anything like that so whatever you name this for you want to go through this process as many times if one for one for your header one for your sidebar one for your footer you'll do that but uh and then just click save and get code and voila there it is so you'll be able to get that code and then be able to uh you know put that anywhere you want it it's that simple and uh, what you would do is you would just put it uh, you know if you're in WordPress or uh, uh, something of that nature put it in your widgets uh, if you're uh, doing coding the website yourself you just put it in the corresponding place and it will automatically resize for you so uh, that's the tip of the day this is Max I hope this was able to help somebody out 